Okay, Viola Rose here. Welcome back to Pokemon Sun. So there's another Pokemon that I have to get that's on Melee Melee Island. Right now I'm on Pony Island at the store to grab Ultra Balls for that and also to grab Repels because I'm going to need those to sort of clear the way so that I only encounter the Pokemon that I want to run into. And I would recommend getting Max Repels to get the best chance at that. Okay, I found it. Necrozma. Come on. Yes! Finally! Oh, that took so long. Hey, okay, so you're leveled up. Great. The Krasma's data will be added to the Pokedex. You registered a legendary Pokemon. That's well, legendary. Let's check it out. Necrozma, Prism Pokemon, Psychic type. Reminiscent of the Ultra Beast, this life form, apparently asleep underground, is thought to have come from another world in ancient times. Cool. Looks like to give it a nickname. Yes. And. Nick, I guess. I don't know. Send Mick to send you to the box. You got the mysterious life form that appeared to be an Ultra Beast. Okay, cool. So that's that. Because if you come and you talk to Professor Kikui and you have more than 50 Pokemon logged in your Pokedex, he'll give you something special. Hey there, Viola. Looks like you're really giving it your all, yeah? You got a lot of Pokemon registered in your Pokedex now. Of course she has. Viola is my clever girl. Thanks, Rotom. I wouldn't bother hanging out with some lug of a trainer who couldn't fill a Pokedex. <laughs> really, Rotom? <laughs> Rotom's pretty fired up about it, too. Of course, I am, too. So I've got a little something for you. You attained a lucky egg. Open up the item's pocket and put the lucky egg away inside. When you have a Pokemon hold a lucky egg, it grows up faster. Sometimes evolved Pokemon don't appear in the wild, so it's useful to have one of these if you're trying to fill a Pokedex. An item to be held by a Pokemon is an egg filled with happiness that earns extra XP points in battle. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Oh, hello. Hey, how? Viola. Hey, no one told you guys to stop. What's going on? What is happening? See, Viola? Helping people like this is just another way I can train myself to get stronger. Oh. Hey, what's up? Akuna grabbed us by the scuff of our necks and dragged us here saying we got nothing better to do anyway, right? Like, okay, Pokemon battles are one thing, but Alola style sumo, come on. <laughs> what? You ain't heard, yo? Our old team skull is donezo. We got nothing to do now. Nope, nothing. No. So we're training out so that we'll be tough enough to help out anyone in need of rescue. Then you can call us Team Re-Skull. Please don't call yourself that. There should be an item right here. Yeah. An electric seed. And what this does is it raises your defense if you're on an electric field, which would be useful if I still had to get a uh, tap of cocoa, but I don't because I already have it. Oh, hey, Guzma. You little brat. I don't know what you think you're doing here, but I actually need to talk to you. Get your ear over to the Aulu City beachfront. Okay, he's... Ah, there he is. Hey, what's up? So, you showed up. Yeah, you told me to be here. Well, Viola, it's time to battle your boy. Okay, let's do it. This is a makeup for when I had to disband Team Skull. Just so you know, I'll never change. Wanna see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form. It's your boy, Guzma. Okay, well, this battle was a bust. <sighs> I 
Nice. Okay. Still a little bit dicey, but I won. You again? How come I can't crush you? 7,560 for winning. Okay, so... Still lost a little bit of money from that. Guzma, what is wrong with you? This outcome hasn't changed at all either! Oh, hello. Well played, Viola. You came all the way here just to watch me lose, huh? Must be a nice it must be nice to be a lazy old island kahuna with nothing better to do. What a high opinion of yourself you have! Haha! <laughs> I just happened to see Viola here, so I thought it would come over. You wanna get me down, old man? Oh, Guzma, when will you understand? Only when you respect your opponent's skill will it bring out the best in you. You miss the true meaning of battling. The goal is not to beat your opponent down, but for both trainers to grow stronger. I don't care what you say to me, yo. Beating people down is all I know. But the battle I just saw seemed a bit different. While you may say you're only interested in crushing your opponent, I sense a, sense a desire to defeat Viola deep in your heart. Yeah, because I kind of ruined, like, everything he had. What do you know, old man? If you continue on this path, you'll never be able to defeat Viola. Guzma, admit the worthiness of your opponents. Only then can you become even stronger than you already are. Allow yourself to know the people and Pokemon you encounter and look deeply into your heart. You're still trying to front like you're my master, huh? I gave up on you a long time ago. Viola, allow me to handle this foolish young man. I'll make a fine trainer out of him yet, or I'm not an island kahuna. I hope that I can be considered- I hope that can be considered penance for the wrongs he and Team Skull have committed. Not really, but I guess it's a start. <laughs> oh, the two of us will go many places together. And we'll meet more people and Pokemon who will enrich our lives. Master. I guess Guzma uh, trained under the Kahuna. I ain't never gonna ask for you to forgive me, so don't get it twisted. This is no apology. Shut up and take this. I got it for my first ever victory, and it's always been my lucky charm. Cool, I got a Dawnstone. Who knows what the Alolan win winds will bring. Next time we meet, I'm counting on you to test how strong I've got. Understood. Cool, now that I have the Dawnstone, I can actually get a Pokemon Evolution that I didn't have before. Congratulations, your medicine evolved into Frostlance. Nice. And that's another page complete. Huh, diggity, look at you. You're on fire, partner. You filled in all the Pokemon on a single page. It's like we're playing bingo over here. Frostlass, the Snowland Pokemon, Ice Ghost type. When it finds humans or Pokemon it likes, it freezes them and takes them to its chilly den where they become decorations. Terrifying. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Oh, you want to learn a move? Wants to learn the move Ominous Wind. So, let's see. What do you already have? Ominous Wind, Ghost type move. The user blasts the target with the Ghost of Repulsive Wind, which may also re raise all the user's stats at once. don't need both Frost Breath and Ice Fang. Um, I'll get rid of Ice Fang because Frost Breath always crits, so that'll be nice to have.
Okay, great. That's another evolution now. Um, and you know what? I'll keep Madison with me. Oh yeah, I forgot to get something from Professor Kukui. Hey there, Viola. You doing good with your Z powers? Burnett and I are looking into them, and we think they might have some connection to the energy that pours out of those ultra wormholes. Okay. Oh yeah, I got something solid for you, cousin. Obtain the TM substitute. Substitute is a sweet move that uses one fourth of a Pokemon's HP to make a copy of it. Oh yeah. The best thing about it is that it keeps your Pokemon safe from most status moves, yeah? And you can make a real wicked combo if you use it with items that are triggered when you lose HP or gain HP back, you follow? If you're a champion, you should work on having some real fine techniques in battle, my cousin. Cool, I'm never going to use it, but thank you. Okay, the next place I need to go is here at the trainer school. You need to go all the way up to the third floor. there's an item here that I can get. You seem to have grown stronger. Think you can beat me who has studied in the school for 30 years? Yes. I am the kahuna of the trainer school. Take my perfectly honed moves. If you say so. My belt Duane has two Pokemon. Primate. And all the stuff that I'm doing right now, you can only do once you become champion of the island, which is why some of these people have low level Pokemon. Let's see. Cannon has a super effective move. So there's one. So does Priscilla. Since Janet's the highest level, I'll go ahead and take you out. Screech. Okay. Or for a second that that would not KO and live with like one health and then one shot me because of the screech. About to send in Lucario, will you switch your Pokemon? No. Use Flame Charge. Oh my god, it lived. Close combat. That's gonna hurt. Okay, not as much as I was expecting. Defense fell. Nice. And it got burned. Very nice. Is that enough to take it out? Yes, it was. Wow. Awesome. I lost? Will I repeat the year? Will I have to repeat another year? Oh, you poor man. <laughs> my, my perfectly home wounds. I guess this is why I still can't graduate even after 30 years. Wow, that's uh, very sad. Okay, that's all it says. Let's go ahead and go in. This the principal's office. Welcome to the trainer school. I'm the principal. What an honor for me and the school. To think that our teachings would not only give rise to a captain, but to a league champion. Despite your lofty accomplishments, though, I'd hazard that you still don't know everything that the trainer school has to teach you, eh? Then allow me to give you a special expert lesson from the principal herself. Okay. And you have three Pokemon. Starting with Granville. So what level are your Pokemon? Level 57? Okay, not bad. 
I was expecting worse. Like, higher levels, not worse levels, is what I mean by that. Anyway. Who has super effective moves? Only Janet? Of course only Janet, but Janet's low on HP. You know what, I'll keep Madison out for a bit. Use Frost Breath. Payback. Oh. I should have seen that coming. Steel wing. Really, it lived. Get the burn off so it collapse from burn. Um, I'll take out. This will take out Priscilla. Out Stoutland. Thunderfang. Oh, thank you for avoiding that. I do not want to get paralyzed. Well, I was hoping that would lower its defense because Rock Smash has the chance to do that. Yeah, it nice. takes two turns to charge, but I think I can risk it. Maybe not. Oh. Second, because it's stone. Let's see, Arcanine, let's switch your Pokemon. Yeah, I'll switch to Shannon. a full restore. Maybe 
at least I didn't get burned that time. Just spam water gun. Or not. Trying flare blitz again. No, he just tried to use Outrage that time. Okay. Okay. And that's the end of the battle. Wow, here's something else. Thank you. Just as the saying goes, even the fool may give the wise man good counsel if he listens. I may have lost, but heed my advice and use this. It's one of my favorite items. Yep, and you get a King's Rock from her, which you can use to evolve Poliwhirl into Politoed and Slowpoke into Slowking if you trade them while they're holding the item, but I can't trade, so. Also, I'd have to receive that Pokemon with that held item for me to be able to get it anyway, so yeah. If your Pokemon's holding the King's Rock, its attacks may, may make an opponent flinch. Oh yeah, it does have that added effect as well. And that's the end of what I can teach you. I'm glad I was able to meet you here. Cool. So let's go ahead and leave. And there's somebody that you can talk to to do hyper training if you care about IVs and stuff like that, which I don't, so... That's all we can do for Melee Melee Island, and the next episode we'll go to Akala Island and do the post-game stuff there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time.